Earlier this month, we told you when it happened, the publisher Simon & Schuster canceled the book by Senator Josh Hawley of Missouri they were planning to release. They issued a statement at the time justifying it this way, quote, we cannot support Senator Hawley after his role in what became a dangerous threat to our democracy and freedom. What was that dangerous threat? No, he didn't storm the Capitol. He voted the exact same way that many Democratic members of Congress had voted in a number of previous elections. But that was a threat to our democracy. So his book wasn't getting published. Now the publisher Regnery has decided to publish it. The book's called The Tyranny of Big Tech. The President Regnery said this, quote, The warning in his book about censorship obviously couldn't be more urgent. I want to invite Senator Hawley on tonight to explain the status of all this. Senator, thanks so, so much for coming on. I think it sounds like a really interesting book, and I'm grateful that someone is brave enough uh, to publish it. What have you learned from this experience? Well, I've learned, Tucker, that what these corporations want, and unfortunately what many on the left want, is control. And they don't want unity. We hear a lot of talk now about unity, but sadly, I think they don't want unity. They want control. No. And they want you to have the same opinions, voice the same opinions, toe the party line. And if you don't, that they're willing to use every power at their disposal to shut you down. That's what they've been trying to do with many, many conservatives. And it's not just me, it's many, many conservatives. And that's why for those of us who believe in the First Amendment, believe in the right of free speech in the Constitution, we have to take a stand and we can't allow this to happen. I think that's exactly right. And I should say there's a full disclosure, I have been published by Simon & Schuster. I have another book under contract to be published. I told them directly, I'm disgusted by what they did to you, not for any partisan reason, but because I believe in free expression, expression, and I don't think you should bow to the mob as they did. But I wonder, going forward, I mean, you found a, a publisher for your book, but you're a United States Senator. Presumably there are other people whose intellectual life has been snuffed out by this moment of uniformity that we're in, enforced conformity. Are you worried about that? Like, what does it do to the country? Oh, I'm very worried about it. I'm very worried about it. I'm worried about the folks who, who have small businesses, uh, who've been threatened with boycotts. I'm worried about uh, folks who have been kicked off of social media or threatened on social media, uh, folks who feel that they are under siege. And that is a lot of this country, Tucker. It's a lot of the people that I represent. And this is a moment, I think, that is very scary for a lot of people because you see the left and the corporations, I mean, these monopoly corporations working right. hand in glove with the left to try to silence speech on a scale that, frankly, I, I've never seen in my lifetime. And this is a moment where those of us who believe in the First Amendment, and by the way, whatever political persuasion, whether you call yourself a conservative, right. a liberal, whatever, if you believe in free speech, this is a time that you've got to take a stand and say, hold on, hold on, we've got to preserve this as Americans. You'd think that book publishers, journalists, people who make a living exercising their First Amendment rights would see this and want to defend you from this censorship. Have any? Uh, not really, not that I'm aware. I mean, Regnery, who's publishing the book, has, has been very brave, of course, but they're independent, Tucker. I mean, come back yeah. to the problem of monopoly control. What you see is, well, is so it. much of the power in this country is consolidated into so few hands. We have only one or two major commercial book publishers, corporate publishers right. in this country. Ditto with the big tech companies, of course, which is what my book is about. So it really takes these independent voices to say, whoa, we're, we're not going to be told to bend the knee. And what we need now is for everyday citizens to say, we're not going to be told to bend the knee. We're going to stand up for what we believe as Americans, the First Amendment, the Constitution.